All right, welcome back to another episode of Back Air Football 2004. In our last one, we went against the Eagles, and we finally had some good luck go our way. Finally. For once, they fumbled the kickoff, and we recovered for a touchdown, and we recovered another fumble of their kickoff. So, for once, the Back Air Football gods smiled upon us. We got a lot of good luck go our way. Finally, it's our, it's been due. It's been due. We've had so much bad luck this season. Finally came through, and we clinched a playoff spot, which was nice to see. We finally we got we clinched a playoff spot. We're eight and five, looking good. Last game of the season, going against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are first in the AFC. So this should be a tough one. This will be a tough one. It'd be nice to get a win against them to get some momentum heading into the playoffs. Um, you know, if we could beat the beat a team that's ten and three, would look real would be really good for us because in the NFC, we've already lost to the Seahawks and the Rams, the top two teams in the NFC. Um, more than likely, we're going to be seeing them in the playoffs, but it's going to you know a win here would pretty much uh, lock in. Lock us in as the three seed, which would probably... I'm, I'm actually not sure who would play in the first round. These it, it, We have to see how the results play out for these other teams. But uh, a win would go a long way. A win would definitely go a long way for securing our third spot in the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, not too much more to say heading into this one. Uh, it's nice to know that we're in the playoffs already, so this is not a must win for us, but like I said, it'd be nice to go in with some momentum beating a good team. So let's see what the Bengals are looking like, see what kind of weather we got, and try to finish out this season with a dub. It's time for football once again. It's time again for some cleat-clamoring, helmet-hurling BFL action. Sunny Day here, along with a human Charlie horse, Chuck Downfield. Thanks, Chuck. Time flies when you're having fun, and this fun season is about to come to a close with the final game of the regular season. Here we are at Dirt Yards, where the snow has just started to fall on the field. The Cincinnati Bengals will take on the linebackers. You know, Sonny, I was just wondering about football as a metaphor for life. It's awesome brutality combined with moments of grace and complexity that rival the most elegant abstract ballet. Uh, hey, uh, uh, are you going to eat that? All right. From the 35, Ricky Johnson. Keep it up, you. All right. We're in another <laughs> snow game. I'm already not liking that. We'll see how this goes. We're on the road against the Bengals. We'll take a look uh, at their nice team return, real quick. I did remember. Play. All right, let's see what the Bengals got going. Lorelai Akaye is their quarterback. Holly Franklin, I think. Um, good running back. I mean, she's not the best quarterback, Lorelai, honestly. Her passing stats aren't that high. Holly, decent running back. Pretty good, actually. Brett. Oh, Rhett's playing terror. Look at Rhett. Like, I don't know what happened to Rhett, but uh, Rhett's stats are way down today at receiver. Just way down. His passing all the way down. His running, catching all the way down. Must This kid must not like snow. He must not like snow because he's he looks like he's usually a good player, but today, oof, rough for him. And, and they got Annie Frazier out here as a re wide receiver too. Interesting. Never really would think of Annie Frazier as a kick as anything other than a kicker, but they got her running receiver. Probably would throw a running back with her running stats, but then they got Lena as uh, center, and then Donald and Claire. Surprised Claire's not starting. Claire should be starting for Rhett today because Rhett's playing down. I would have put a Claire in there, but this team is uh this team is uh what's what's the word. 10 and 2, 10 and 3, 10 and 2, whatever, 10 and 3. They are first in the AFC, so we cannot take them lightly. They definitely have a good def they have a good team. We got to uh got to play at our best today. So this killer B has been working a lot lately. We've been you know, we've been getting some pressure sending two at them instead of the one, so we're going to keep up with it. Oh, fumble. Mikey. All right. Great start. Right off the bat, we're already getting a fumble recovery. the the luck The luck is starting to uh, shift in our direction. 
right in time for the playoffs. Love to see First it. And 20, 32 yard Tony Dalvecchio. Caught it. Boom. Catch. Broken tackle. Touchdown. Gotta get get love it. Absolutely gotta love it. Here's and we're going to take a 7 nothing lead heading in for appreciate that one. 17 that seconds funny, into the game. And we get the ball to start the second half. So perfect, perfect start for us. Ricky Johnson will kick off. Would love for, you know, would love to get this kind of luck in the playoffs. All right, let's see. Can we get breakthrough? Oh, another fumble. Oh, yes. And we got it again. Oh. This is what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, I am telling you, we had all that bad luck just piling up, and now we're due. We're we are so due for some good luck, and it's all starting to come out now. The pitch, Dante Robinson. It was that brings up. He actually he actually caught it, but um, he he caught it, but I picked the wrong side. There wasn't enough room to go around. Second and long, 28 yard line. Fired into the. You have to rely on your defensive backs to come up with a big play. It'll be third down. Yeah, nothing was open there. Just had to take the under the short route. Third okay. down, 22 yard line. Tony Del Dante. That was a good play, Sonny. That saved six. Fourth down. Um, for the we'll try taking our three. Well, there, there were. We don't need to. We don't need to risk it. We'll try taking our three. 18 yard line. Ricky Johnson, back for the kick. Is that short? Really? I don't understand that, man. I don't understand. It looked good. It looked like it went straight through. First and but I guess 20, not. 18-yard line. Going to throw. Lorelai Ikaye. Rifle. Threw it around the shoe lane. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us, but so far, so good. I thought that was the safe play going for the kick. I really thought Second I thought that was in Ricky's long, range. I guess the snow is really block. messing it up. That defense was Ooh, sack lunch like sandwich from pops. Kimmy Ekman. Brings up third down. Defense is playing very well to start off the game. Third down and long. Ten yard long. Drops back. Somebody get that oh, another back. sack. Is that Brings safety? Up fourth down. No, they're at the three. But still, back to back sacks. We got a power up too. What did we get? Spring loaded and cough Fourth drop. And long. Three yard line. Yeah, good. Our defense is playing well. The killer B seems to be our best defensive play. Alright, no fumbles. Perfect. Alright, we're in good field position here. First and 20, 36 yards. Tony Delvecchio passes. Pulls. Boom, what a catch. He caught it with his back turned. That's new. First he usually, usually doesn't get those when his back's turned. All right, we're uh, we're we're playing well right now. Don't want to mess it up. First and goal, 12 yard line. Tony Delvecchio caught it. Okay, another power up. Uh, by the way, you're gonna eat the rest of that corn dog. Focus, that focus. We're a little too close for that one. Um, we'll try a, the run here. Crash. We'll try running this in with Dante. Second down uh, go. and goal. Five yards. Dante should have it, and he's that in. Let's go. You gotta appreciate that one. <laughs> All right, we're off to a very good start in this one. Very good, very good momentum heading into the playoffs. Booms one. Now, like that one looked like it was going really far. You gotta appreciate that. Like I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't be mad at them. I don't know. Hopefully, Ricky hopefully Johnson it doesn't come down to field goals in the playoffs go, because go, I'm not. Go. I'm really not sure what Ricky's range is. Like it looks like that was going in, and then it just doesn't. Like, that was a boot. Like, that was far. I don't know. I, like I said, hopefully hopefully it doesn't come down to a field goal in the playoffs. Uh, that, unless it's, like, inside the five, I'm not confident. <laughs> First down and 20, 28 yard line. <laughs> Try the cough drop. Going to the air. Annie Frazier catches the ball. No. Wow. 
What a what a play. They really oh, took no. the wow. on that one. Uh-oh. Plays like we went from getting a sack to getting the cough drop fumble to giving up a touchdown. That was wow, I did not see that coming. Okay. So I guess it's not gonna be as, as easy as we thought. Here's the kick. What is this? I could cry. Definitely not gonna be as easy as we thought. Um, I can't believe that happened. I really thought like we had the sack there for the fumble. That kid puts the special in special teams. We do have Hocus Pocus though, so we're gonna use it here. First and twenty. Throw Tony Dell. The kid slings it. All right, you got it. I tried clicking it as soon as possible, like that time, because it takes forever for the ball to get there. All right, we're playing well. We're playing well. Twenty thirty-six yard rifles a pass. Complete. Boom! Boom's having a huge game right now. Boom is it? Boom! Boom likes playing in the snow. I feel like Boom. Is, boom in the snow is just built different. In the rain, though, it's just not good. But in the snow, built different. The kick. Hey, we're pretty good, I think. You, you gotta should be play that one. <laughs> All right, offense is playing well right now. Uh, just Ricky we, if we can stop them here, we should be good because we do get the ball to start the second half. So Give we should be good as long as we get a stop here in the twenty seconds or so. Nice 18 return, seconds, set okay. Up by the old flying wedge play. This never works. Literally never works. We're going to try it, though. First down and 20, 36 yard line. It looks like they're going to the air here. Fired yep. into the flat. Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky, but yeah, Kimmy just flew way over again. Maybe fl maybe I need to move her back more. I don't know. I just don't. The spring loaded is not the, the, the move in this one. I can't even move my character that way. This offense she caught it. Starting to click now. I can't, like, First when it goes off screen like that, there's nothing Bengals. I can do. I can't move my character off the screen. I was just, First you know, I'm just hoping that they make the stop. Line. Looks like they're going to the air here. That's what All right, big, s big big sack. Plays on defense. Brings up a second down. Four seconds left. Second and long. 44 yard drops back to pass. And another one. And we got a power up. Okay. This team is racking up the yards today. One of the keys to winning is being able to manage the clock. That probably explains why I didn't win a lot. Okay. Huge. Huge uh, first half for us. 196 yards. No turnovers. We get the ball to start the half. Looking good. Looking very good right now. Feeling confident. Hopefully no fumbles. No turnovers, and we should About we should walk away with the win here. Starshine. Booms one. That kid puts the special in special teams. Let's try us the swinger. I feel like Dante might have uh, some speed this game. First down okay, and 20, fight. 44, tosses it back to... Maybe he has the, he might have the speed, sport. but he doesn't have the Maybe hands. Second down. Let's try again. One more time. Second I down I and long, 44-yard line. I've said this a million times, so yeah, okay, that was my fault. I shouldn't have uh, it brings up third down. pushed it again. Third and... I'm going to throw. Slings it. It? Yep, that was, uh, just didn't want to take a sack. Just didn't want to take a sack. All right. That was a terrible drive. Literally only wasted 11 seconds, and we went nowhere. All right, so the swing, we're not doing the swinger again. All right, we got the ball back. We finally got a cough drop fumble that we recovered. First and 20, 42 yard. Tony Dalvecchi holds on to it. Did he fumble? That's clear. Big pile for the ball. Did they get it? Who knows who's got the ball now? They get. They did get it. Wow. Well, 
Just like that, they got it right back. <laughs> First and 20, 41 yard line. Looks like they're going to they send it airmail. Okay, another drop. Playing a different position. Like the baby Power ups are racking up here. We're going to try magnet. Second down. Because we know the spring loaded won't work. Second down and a ways to go. Good. Bates back to pass. Lorelai Ikaye slings it. A kid couldn't catch a ball. It did not magnet to where I wanted it to, but at least it didn't go to them. All right, what if I try moving Kimmy back? What if I try moving her back? Nope, didn't work. Just still just sprung her over. Yeah, I just think the spring load is broken. I just don't think it's uh, feasible. They're going for the kick. Okay, we'll take that. I will give up the three. Gets it off. I will give them the three. Oh no! I knew we could do it. I really did. I'll give up the three, no problem. We're still up by eleven. Still up by two scores. Let Taylor tease it up. It is up. All right, no fumbles, Dante. I didn't think they were going to be able to catch that kid. All right, so the swinger's not working. We're going back to what works, the, the thread play, the boom. It's been our bread and butter all year. 22-yard line. Tony Dalvecchi. Oh, wow. I threw that two inside, and they picked it. I am choking. This is bad. I am choking hard right now. This is terrible. First down and 20, 24-yard line. Using the boost. And they're in. Wow. I'm choking hard. This is terrible. We had such a good first half, and I'm just throwing it all away. They're going to the pitch. It is caught. Okay, well, they're short, right? They're short, right? Yes. Okay. We're still up by five. They still need a touchdown. From the 35. But I am choking. I've had a terrible third quarter. Just awful. Here's the kick. Dante did not feel like blocking her. Special teams. I mean, just just an awful quarter I've had. We really needed some some points here. First and 20, 22. Tony Dalvecchio holds on. Okay, to boom. It. That's gonna get it done. Boom with the catch, the broken tackle, off to the races. He's no one's gonna catch him. And that's a huge touchdown. That just what the doctor ordered. That's what we needed. That is it for the third quarter. Just what we needed. All right, going up by 12 points heading into the for the uh, the fourth quarter. They need two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I think we're. I think we should be good. Nice play, guys. I mean, I've said this before, but I I think we should be good now. That was huge. We'll kick it off here. Booms one. All right, they're wasting a lot of time here in this kickoff. She's very slow right now. That was a nice return set up by the old flying wedge play. Uh, if I have to hear this about this wedge play one more time. First and 20, 24 yard line, going to throw. Those kids Another are sack for Kimmy. Mean, Let's go. Brings up a second down. Second down and a ways to go. Looking for the open receiver. Another sack. Let's go. Brings up third down. Wait, hey, actually, cough drop it is. I hate when we get the spring loaded. I'd rather get the cold third one. down and long. Nine yards in the throw. <laughs> Fired into the flat. Caught. Fumble. Kimmy's got it. Backers. Our ball. Let's go. That should be that should be game. Should be game. We'll try the swinger one more time. First down and 20. 20 pitches it back. That's a classic. That's it. No more swinger. That's three. That's three times we tried it now. Not doing it again. We'll, if we miss again, they get a power up. Second down and long. 24 yard line. Dante's gonna run it up the middle. First that? down. It is another set of downs. First and goal to go. How did they get a power for that? Are you kidding me? 
First okay. down and goal. Four Dante, yard can you punch it in? Tackled for less than no. a yard. That but he got closer. Second, for second goal at the one. Let's punch it in here. Second <laughs> Uh-oh. They have the call drop. Do we get it back? They really stuck up that time. Third okay, thank God we got it back at the least. Linebackers. Come on, let's punch Third it in here. Goal. Keeps it on the ground. He's in. Good, huge. Yay, Not really huge. We were, we were... I felt pretty good about winning anyway, but still nice to get in there. Ricky Johnson, back for the kick. All right, this yeah, is gonna. That's go, this is gonna be another win for us. us Finally, we beat. Uh, we beat a good team. We we beat the top team in the AFC. From the thirty-five. In their in their uh stadium on the road. The kick. So we're we will be going into the playoffs nine and five as the three seed. I we'll take a look at uh who we're playing after kid. this. First down and 20, 36 yard line. Looks like they're going to the air here. Throws it to the flat. Ricky, Ernie. Into Ernie, steal. We finally got another interception. It's been a while since we've gotten one. All right, let's just run out the clock here. First and 20. They go to the running back again. There's nothing I like better than a great tackle, Sonny. Unless I'm the one being tackled. Brings up a second down. Second okay, down. Hike. Gives it to. Somebody get that kid some aspirin. Brings up third down. Let's just try a, a bomb play. Why not? Last play of the season. Let's just try it. Third and Hike. long drop. Tony Dalvacchi. Hail Mary. Runs it. It's up oh, that off. went about as well as I expected. That's it, <laughs> folks, and the linebackers have done it. They won the game. That's a lot of points. Just thinking about all those numbers makes my head hurt. For Chuck Downfield, I'm Sunny Day. Thanks for watching VFL Football, and remember, always be a good sport. Be a good sport, always. So long. All right. So. Good way to end the season, 35-16 to 16 victory. We did have a lot of turnovers we have to clean up. But other than that, 35 points, we'll take that. 9-5 and five going into the playoffs. All right, with the unstoppable, linebackers advance the conference finals. With the regional finals under their belt, Coach Valley, Joe Bean, Bugley, the linebackers appear ready to take on all opponents. And are showing no sign of wavering. Today's 35-16 victory of the Bengals is yet another page in their winning season. Mikey Thomas was rumored to have been outside the... Oh. I guess we'll never know. Um, linebackers, league leader in points. Boom, boom. Got some more passing, which doesn't really help us. Best conference special teams goes to boom, boom. All right. All right, so the playoff tree. Uh, where are we? Okay, so we are the four seed. Right, so we're the four seed in the conference semifinals. Do we get a... How does this work? Hold on, am I just dumb? Oh, so we got a, a buy, I guess. Yeah, I guess we already we automatically made it to the second round. I think, right? Is that how that works? Oh, hold up. Conference semifinals, finals, BFL finals. Hold up. I, I'm just maybe I'm just slow. The Rams are the one seed, and we're the four. But last week, but in the regional finals, they had to play the Cowboys. The Bears had to play the Eagles. Bears versus Rams. Oh no, they both made it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I I think I get. I think I'm understanding. 
these two teams had to play to make the playoffs, and they made the playoffs, as well as these two sides, and they made it. And now... But that doesn't make any sense, because the Bengals... We knew the Bengals were, like, 10 and 4, so they were already in the playoffs. I don't know how it works. I'm, I don't I don't really understand the, the system. But we are in the... um. I don't I don't really get it. Someone's going to have to explain that to me. But all I know is we are in the conference semifinals and if we beat we we are playing the St. Louis Rams in the playoffs. There's a rematch against the Rams and if we beat the Rams, we have a rematch against the Seahawks in the conference finals and then if we beat the Seahawks in the conference finals, we'll go to the finals versus either the Ravens or the Colts. That is, I don't know what the regional finals is. I don't really get it. I was trying to understand it. I don't get it. But what I do know is we're playing the Rams in the in the first round of the playoffs. That is what I do know. That is what I can tell you. I don't really understand the seating or these whatever, but playing the Rams that I that I can understand. So let's take a look at the uh, the standings overall. We ended nine and five. The AFC. Looks like that. Well, it. some of these teams are going to have an extra game because they already played their playoff game. We're not going to play that one in this episode. So we're playing the Rams. They ended up with... They have 11 wins, so it's going to be a tough one. We're definitely going to have to uh, play at our best. Uh, we've already seen what they're capable of we lo when we lost them in the, uh, the overtime game. So let's take a look at the... Uh, Stats for the season. League. Uh, we'll go player. All right. So Tony ended with 54%. Three, almost 3,700 yards. And 27 touchdowns, 22 picks. Good season. Not bad. Definitely had a little too many interceptions, but not, not a bad season. Boom. Ended with over 2,000 yards. Dante. 1,200, 20 touchdowns for Boom, 6 for Dante, uh, but Dante had 4. So Dante had 20 touchdowns, Boom had 22. That's how it ended up being. Defense, Kimmy, 38 sacks. Interceptions, Ricky and Ernie, 6 each. Field goals, we don't look at. Extra points, only missed one extra point all season long. And now let's take a look at the league leaders. So, Tony, most attempts by, like, three times as many. Yards, though, like I say, he's pretty close. Lorelai Akaye, I think, led the league. Uh, no. Mickey O'Connor led the league. 48-80. Is there anyone else that went over 48-80? 48-43. Oh, no, there, there's some down here. Randolph and Th Randolph, 5,600. That's the most. I'm, yep, Randolph... Randolph led the league in yards with uh, 46.77 on the Cowboys. And let's check. Receiving. Uh, Tracy, Vinny, 82 each. Yardage-wise, let's see. Looks like Billy Jean Blackwood. No, Debbie. The Cowboys receivers went all. I mean, it makes sense. They have the leading passer in the league. So, Debbie, 28.75. I'm going to say Debbie we had the most. Yep, Debbie had the most. 2875 for, uh, on the Cowboys for receiving yards. Boom led the league in touchdowns, though, by a lot. Rushing. Looks like Holly Franklin. 3856. She tied with David Boston. No, Erlacher had the most. 3933. Any 4,000. 3993 in the Seahawks. Uh, yeah, looks like the Seahawks. Looks like she had the most. And sacks. Any 50s? Kimmy had 58, right? I think Kimmy had... No, Kimmy had 38. Or 58. I don't know, I'm losing it. But that's what that looks like. Interceptions, Ernie and uh, Ricky had the most. Field goals were not there. I mean, you can see who made the most, I guess. 14 attempts, 12 makes. Yep. 12 for 12 for Thor Herring. Extra points. We're way up there. Punts. Returns. Okay. All right. So that is the season wrap-up.
in the next one, we will play the Rams in a rematch of that overtime game earlier in the season. So should be in, should be a fun one. Uh, I'm actually yep. I'm gonna leave it on the screen for uh, uh, this time. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Till next time, catch y'all later.